to some more Mel Science. So before we start, I want to give a big thank you to Mel Science for sending us this awesome stuff. So today we have got Oscar's pick to do the sulfur and nitrogen dioxide kit. And today we're going to do the experiment sulfur dioxide. Okay. So we are ready with our safety glasses and our gloves. And I think we've got most of the equipment that we need to use today already out and ready to go. Right, now let's see. Let's get this open and see what you get inside the box. These are lovely. I love the way that these are presented. So inside these you always get like a leaflet that gives you a quick rundown um, on everything that you need to know. It's got the safety stuff, how to dispose of it after and then instructions to perform the experiment inside. We've also got the Mail Science app running at the moment as well, which gives all of the details of the experiment here too. So we are, I think we are ready to proceed. So what do we need to do first? Let's have a look. So we've got these in the kit. There's these little paper flowers that are white at the moment. So what I want you to do, Oscar, is take one of those white um, flowers. <laughs> Couldn't think of the word. It's beautiful. It's lovely. Lovely. And then we need to use some of this thymol blue solution. So let's get that out. Thymol blue. And what you're going to do is drip this onto the buds of that flower to turn it blue, yeah? Mm -hmm. If I can get it open. It's got a child lock on there, I'm not, I can't work it. <laughs> Pokey. These are great as well because um, all of the chemicals are sealed. You can see at the end of here, you probably can't see into it, but just take my word for it that there's like a piece of cotton in the end so that you have so that you can't like get it out. There's no accidents or anything. And the kit comes with like a paper clip that you have to push in the end to push that bit out of the way. So then you get access into the chemicals which is pretty good right so do you want to take that and drip some of it onto the flower please got this nice blue flower now let me show the boys and girls yep. what it looks like okay so there's our nice blue flower okay here you go Oscar I got you a blue yep. flower <laughs> thank you to create sulfur dioxide we need to combine sodium metabisulfate and citric acid together to cause a chemical reaction okay okay so we need to put one large spoon of sodium metabisulfate okay so one big spoon of this into there oh that looks like water that's like jelly let's put this over here actually just in case it's like jelly and water mixed together oh no did that go in or did some of it go on the outside okay a tiny bit went on the okay outside. let's just put a tiny bit extra <laughs> it's very technical and scientific when you do that yep. okay and then we need to put in with it two large spoons of citric acid. Okay, are you ready? Yep. So one. <laughs> You're going so carefully. All that carefulness and a bit still for help. Two. Okay. Yep. So pop that in there as well. Cool, and then it says the reaction speeds up when heated. So sulfur dioxide dissolves in the water imbued in the flour, forming sulfurous acid. The acid base indicator reacts to this and changes colours. So what we need to do is light that candle. I have got some water here just in case there's any accidents and we start a fire. I'm sure we will not. Make sure you've got your flour ready, Oscar, please. So I'm going to light this candle. Top. Okay. Right. 
Now we're going to pop this solution on top to heat up and you need to put that flour on the top of there. Yeah, so just drop it in. That's it. <laughs> cool. So now what should happen is the, it's going to form sulfurous acid and then the acid base indicator is going to react and change colour. So if we heat it up for about three minutes, oh actually you can already see it changing. Can you see what's happening to the flower? It's turning a bit red. It's turning red, yeah. Let's see if we can get a good zoom in on that. Look at that, everybody. That's pretty cool. So it takes about three minutes to, it should change completely red. Okay, so I've just moved that now and put that flour into the beaker. Yep. So now that it's not being exposed to the sulfur dioxide and it's being exposed to air, some of the sulfur dioxide is going to vaporise and then the indicator is going to turn orange. So now it should go to orange, okay? okay. I'm just going to pour a bit of water into that flask so that it stops that sulfur reaction. Hope you enjoyed our sulfur dioxide experiment. If you're not already a Splat fan, remember to give this video a like, hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell Ding. so that you are notified of our new videos. We do upload videos every day of the week. Yep. And we try and do a sciencey video at least once a week on a Thursday. Hope you liked our video and we will see you in the next instalment of Mel Science. Bye. Bye.